Back here in central Ohio, we've seen a good amount of rain today. Yeah, you know the saying, April showers bring May flowers, but is there any hmm. truth to that? Well, we're going to go to one of our experts, birthday girl, <laughs> meteorologist Mackenzie Bart breaks this down for us. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. Oh, thank you. And of course, rain on your birthday. Hopefully that's good luck or something. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Uh, well, the past few days, spring has been living up to its hype with the April showers. So with that, let's talk about how much precipitation we typically get in April. So on average in the month of April, we see just below four inches of rainfall in the month. Now taking that back to last year, last year in 2021, we saw right over three inches, so below average, but definitely a good soaker there for last year. But if we look at what we are seeing so far, so this year in terms of precipitation, so far we've seen right around 11 inches of rain, and that is well above average what we normally see. Now we want to talk about uh, the average precipitation month by month. So April, while it uh, may definitely feel like a wet month here, definitely doesn't lead up to the wettest months that we see on average. Usually uh, June and July, we'd get to see uh, plenty of precipitation when we get to really see some of, of our heavy soakers here right around four inches of rain in the June and July months. Now, when it goes back to uh, do April showers bring May flowers, we want to send it off to professors at Ohio State Extension because they say that spring rain can also help prep that soil as we come out of winter. The, the rainfall that we get in, in early spring is really helpful to uh, certainly um, recharge the soil moisture. Um, we haven't been overly dry this past winter, but it's, it's always helpful to uh, build up that soil moisture before we get the really warmer temperatures um, that are going to um, dry up the soils and, and evaporate a lot of the moisture that's in, in the, especially the top part of the, the topsoil. So yes, you could say technically, you know, those April showers do bring about the May flowers, but we also want to remind people that it's still a little bit too early to be planting any of those warm season crops. Because yeah. We could still see some cooler weather, you know, going into the end of April and even sometimes the beginning of May. Yeah, you know, uh, the latest we've had 32 degrees reported in the spring months was May 17th. So yeah. uh, your best bet is probably just wait until May 7th and take a look <laughs> at our 10 day and then you'll be able to see whether or not you're in a clear or not. But there yeah, Mackenzie, go. just a good reminder, even though we have these warm stretches of day days ahead of us mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like that for the rest of spring. I but, know, we want it, but you know, yeah. Mother Nature doesn't but, always do what we want. <laughs> um, of course, she's pretty stubborn, especially this time of the year.